Okay, guys. So, uh, some of this in here today. Um, Drippling shift, and um, this is something decent. Um, I shouldn't expect that, but let's go. What car should I take? What the hell's happening? I'm gonna take the M3. I really don't know um if this game will even run, cause there's no way, and the uh, the sound is zero, guys. There's no sound and it's still is laggy. It's very very laggy. Let's see how much FPS. Wow! Seems like around 30 FPS, very close. Okay. Very close. Um, here's the gameplay experience, I'm not gonna say anything. On, um, Imperial should be metric. I kind of forgot to say that um, when uh, uh, the game's recording, you'll get a very bad frame. And I'll tell you after after playing the game when without recording.
Okay, so I somehow added the game though. I just put this. As in right there, this is Need for Speed Shift FPS, but um, I can't for to realize some. Um, this is the demo version because I'm too cheap. Because this game is very expensive in our country. I'm like, I swear to God, man, it cost 1,000 BDT just for this game. So as you can see right there, here's the FPS, and as you can see right there, the frame per second is like. I've got from the first playthrough was like I got 25 FPS which is was mostly running average FPS I found is 18 FPS and 1% lows from 15 FPS and 0.1% lows which is 11 FPS which can uh, the playthrough walk durability leads to and uh, which leads I think is like like low settings low settings and the resolution itself I think hold on resolution itself is around how much like 640 by 480 by 480 but but on 59 Hertz with window mode because um, on this resolution uh, full screen is not even allowed full screen it says is no so yeah and that's that it's absolutely low setting shadow is completely off motion blur completely off and these are the frame rates you're gonna get if you want a good better picture uh, let, me, let me just scroll this up a bit better just so you can see and the corner I got this is the frame rate I got like 25 FPS average FPS is 18 1 percent lows is 15 and 0.1% lows is 11 FPS because this is the old this is like the most minimum settings you're gonna get on 128 megabytes of VRAM so um, yeah this is the FPS you're gonna get let me show you if you don't trust me okay so we're here now as you can see oh my good god yeah as you can see right there now is that this is different like they what they want actually is that Core Studio no that's not my problem though let me show you these are my specs these are my specs here okay I'm gonna do it yeah this is what happens it's just like you can run anything but in reality if you really run the game it worse worsens so let me show you to go to come into the game so um yeah yes low or medium setting you might run just some issues with 30 bit OS so a bit of a 60 bit version so yeah, it says here, and um, uh, I was so dumb, and it was, was so little, like age, like uh, like ten. I said um, I should pirate this game, but I don't really like pirating some games. I like really like downloading from official websites. So here's the settings, and this is how the settings look. Yeah, right here, right here. So yeah. And these are the settings you can see 250 megabyte video card and um, uh, yeah it's true is that this may cause some issues they say they say the 32-bit operating system works but this is the frame rate you will get because as an example um, the video is in the description someone showed that this is possible the score of 32-bit yes, windows this is absolutely insane when I and now I'm gonna show you um, what does this mean you ask because it is uh, oh, I forget to say it's CPU management and not what the hell am I saying now what I was going to say is that it's where is it where is it yeah there it is it's benchmarking is very Expected. high and finally we're on to the benchmarks now first benchmark I did was done on CPU Z and can we just take a second to look at the results in other words wow this is incredible so according to CPU Z 64 bit windows has close to double the score of 32 bit windows in terms of single threaded performance but don't worry guys it gets even better because in multi-threaded performance 64-bit windows gets almost four times the score of 32-bit windows this is absolutely insane when I look back at these numbers at first I didn't think anything of it but looking at the scores side by side 
I'm honestly blown away, like seriously. These numbers are ridiculous. And last benchmark I wanted to do was 3D Mark Vantage to test the GPU performance. An older version of 3D Mark, yes, but for this hardware, it works fine. So what are the results? Well, it wasn't as crazy as CPU Z. 64-bit Windows was ahead by 70 points in the CPU. Maybe the ridiculous difference in speed was there in CPU Z because Chrome was open in the background. In th yeah, and this is the result. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. See you next tune and um this is a uh, need for speed more shift demo version so thanks for watching the video hopefully have a good night i mean good night yeah i'm like what the hell am i saying like like bye for now because i've been so busy i'm playing black mesa and um i kind of got addicted <laughs> so yeah i finished that almost finished a chapter so this is amazing i'm kind of shocked to be honest so yeah don't mind guys don't mind so for now it's the end of the video so